What's going on? My name is Marcus, and today I'm bringing you a little chest run. If you don't know, for the Lazarus tuning orbs, you're going to need to collect some glowing spores, and this is the only spot you can do it. This is a pretty popular chest running spot, but I wanted to simplify it to just the elite chest so you can spend less time running chest and more time in expeditions. So yeah, I hope this helps, and let's get into it. So we're going to be starting out in Southeast Reek Water. What you want to do is just grab one of these camps, or if there isn't any camps, set one up for yourself at the bottom of this ramp. And we're going to be heading right to this building here. If you're running this route, you want to make it as easy as possible. And to do that, you want to run a weapon that allows you to pass through your enemies. So you want to use like Fire Staff, Burnout, or Rapier Fletch. You also want to bring health pots and food because these enemies hit hard. And don't forget your luck gear because you want to be able to get as many drops as you can. So heading up over this bridge, you want to head to the right over here and hop up on this roof. As you can see, there is some other people running a train on these chests here, but basically just hop up on this roof, jump up over the rope, and then head up onto this other roof up here and go ahead and lay down until you lose all of the aggro. I had to wait a good bit here because there were a bunch of other players running around and I want to keep this as natural as possible. But once you lose the enemy's aggro, you want to go ahead and run into the house over here. Go through the house and use one of your abilities that allows you to pass through this enemy just to get through them real quick. You can hop up onto these little boxes and go around the corner here. And then as you can see, I've hit this chest already today, so I can't loot it. But if you just hop up on this little stub thing, you could loot the box here. If you're really struggling, you can back up and lay down behind these boxes right here and the enemies won't be able to hit you. But once you get the chest, go ahead and just go on straight out of here. Again, we got a bunch of enemies retreating back at me. Keep running, just stay to your right here. And like I said in the beginning, you want to head all the way up to this point. So you just want to keep going up and up and up and up. Here comes the train again. Go ahead and run right through them. You're, you're more than likely going to be pulling enemies because there's not going to be a giant train in front of you. But you can go ahead and head to the left here and climb this. Usually you'll lose a lot of your aggro once you climb that wall. And then if you still have aggro on, you jump right onto the front of this boat. You can jump up onto the pole here and then jump up onto the house. And then once you're up on the house, you get in the tree. Go ahead and lay down up here and lose any aggro that you got. So these trains are super annoying. There's a lot of people in this area, but what you want to do after you lose the aggro is just go ahead and drop down on this chest here. Usually there's going to be somebody that spawns like right there, but you can usually loot this chest and not aggro them. I've already looted it today, so I'm just going to go ahead and head out. Go ahead and run down the ramp. We'll actually pull a little bit of aggro here. And then this location on the map right here is where the next elite chest is. So we're going to head around here. We're going to go up and around the long way. You don't want to go to the left there because you're going to pull a bunch more aggro. So if you just go around this way, you're not really going to pull anybody. Basically, if you do pull people, just keep dodging and uh, using your abilities to make sure that you don't get hit. The only really big threats are the guys with the giant anchors because they hit ridiculously hard. But keep going, just follow the outskirts of this. And then once you get over this bridge, you're going to have a good bit of aggro on you. So you're going to want to lose it in these houses to our right here. Basically being able to go between any of the houses and lay down in a spot like this is going to lose you aggro. So if you look in this window here, that is where the next elite chest is. So once you lose aggro, you can go ahead and pop out between these buildings here. Go ahead in and grab this chest. I already hit it, so I'm not going to hit it again. But as you can see, I can stand here. I'm not pulling anybody. Sometimes you can pull people in here. If you do, you can end up trapped easy. So just use your Fletch or your Burnout to get out of that building. And then head between the buildings again if you need to lose people. So that's all the chest in this lower area. Now you want to head back right where we came from. And we're going to head back up to the upper area. Just continue over. You can go either straight where I'm going, or if you wanted to make a right back there, you can go through the ship like we did in the first place. Gonna go ahead and make the second left here. 
I go left again. Keep going. Same exact spot where we came from originally. So we're just backtracking a little bit. Except at this opening here, we're going to make a left and head up the stairs and then up this long bridge. So the gates might be open since there's people, but maybe not. Guess we'll find out. No, it's definitely closed. So just run past all these people, hop on these boxes to the left, and then there's little rocks over here. Jump down on these rocks, you'll lose the aggro. And then to open up the gate up here, all you have to do is get an angle on this guy above us. So go ahead and shoot him. Take a couple shots. Knock him down. Kill him. And then you'll see the gate explode right here. Perfect. And we're through. So just head right back up this tree. Jump up over the fence. Go through the gate here. As you can see, the boss is right there in front of us. So don't go straight towards him. Go to the right here. I still have all these people chasing me, so it's it's pretty dangerous. Go ahead. Stay away from the boss. Go around. There's the elite chest right there. Head up here, and then to lose aggro, just lay down on this roof right here. And wait a little bit. Once all the aggro's gone, all you have to do is just drop down on the chest right below us right here. Sometimes you can pull this guy that's on the high ground to our right, but this time we didn't. Usually you can get the uh, supply chest before he gets off anyways. There's one of the anchor guys. Be careful of him. Just going to lose the aggro again before we push up to the next stretch. All right, so we're going to continue making our way up. Just run past everybody. Head all the way up here. And then if you can jump on these rocks to the right here you can just go straight up over and then onto this house oh it fell okay i climb up on the boat not a big deal now hop up on the rock here i like to hop up in the house you can also just go around to the left of the house but i think it's more fun to go over the house and then just keep running we're getting close to the last chest here just run all the way up. There was somebody retreating. Oh, no. I'm going to go ahead and pop a potion so that way I don't get one shot by the anchor. And then once you get up to these houses here, go ahead and head to the right. If you go in between them right here and then behind, go ahead, hop on the rocks and you're going to lose all of the aggro up here. There is another chest right in that house there, but that's not an elite chest, so I'm not going to go out of my way to do it. But if you want to, you can do it. Just head up the rocks, and we're going to go ahead and just go around basically everything here. Just find spots that you can climb and, and climb them. Make your way up. And then you can go ahead and drop down here onto this tree. If I can get over it, there we go. Keep going, keep going, keep climbing. And then continue to just make your way up these rocks. Wherever you can find a way up is fine. Sometimes you can have a little bit of issue getting up these areas, but it's not too bad usually. And go ahead and climb up this part of the rock. And then drop down onto the house right here. And then this is where the final chest is. If you look right below the mob there, we can just drop down real close. Not pull anybody. Grab the elite chest. And now that we have it, go ahead and head around the back of the building here. And then you can just drop down into these rocks again. So once you're here, you start, you're basically working your way back at this point. 
I like to stick to the outside of the rocks just because I made it this far without dying. So let's see if we can make it back without dying. You can go over the houses like I just did, but if you wanted to, you could have just went to the right over the rocks as well. Just basically, I recommend taking the safest path unless you don't really care about having to repair. Then if you wanted to, you could just die and go back to either your campsite or straight back to uh, the Reek Water Settlement. But yeah, so basically you just follow your way all the way back. I'm just going to run and I'm going to fast forward it so you guys can, uh, if you if you need the route back, you can go ahead and uh, slow down the video if you have to. But I'm going to fast forward it. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you checking out the channel and I hope you found this helpful. See you in the December patch.